Happy talking, talking, happy talk. Talk about things you like to do. Look, there's a little parasol mushroom. That. These are beautiful to eat. Get a bug out. There we go. That one's not open yet. These aren't fully, fully open, which is quite good. We don't want them fully, fully open. Another one. That's not... Has started to open. Oh no, hasn't opened. Right, okay. I'm gonna leave that one. There's some more over there. More there, right, okay. We like these. These are absolutely gorgeous eating. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. These are quite small ones. Normally, they're they're they're. A lot larger than this when I've picked them. So, right, so these are your normal parasol mushrooms. Quite a spindly thing. This is a shaggy parasol. Now, it's very similar, okay, looks the same, but see this orange. So, these go orange when bruised or cut, okay. So, normal parasol doesn't. So, retard. See how it's gone orange there? There you go, almost like it's bleeding in orange. So, that's a shaggy parasol. That is fine to eat, some people have a reaction. So we're back from a fungi forage, we've got some parasol mushrooms. There you go, nice white gills, they don't bruise or go orange when cut. Okay, you've got the brown scales on them, so they're all ready. They're, uh, they're nice little mushroom those. Now, I am going to do a mushrooms on toast with those. I've taken the stalks off because these are fibrous and unless you dry them out, ain't worth bothering with. This is the shaggy parasol, which goes orange when bruised, the flesh does. Uh, can cause a stomach upset with some people. This is starting to change colour. Okay, so we're not having that. I'm going to make that classic mushrooms on toast fried mushrooms on toast there's some toast i've toasted it i'm going to leave it to dry out because obviously you get a bit of moisture with the mushrooms first of all get your knob of butter nice and large I'm going to whack that in the pan let that melt down then my quartered because these are quite small parasol mushrooms are going to go in along with a bit of garlic right at the end parsley and lemon juice so let's let that melt down medium heat well, let's crack on right the butter's nicely melted a little bit bubbly stick in the garlic and let that brown a little garlic's bubbling away nicely now i've turned it up to seven this goes up to nine so that gives you an idea of how much um it's not a motorhead one so it's not going up to ten it's not going to burn the butter or the garlic. So we put in our few handfuls of mushrooms. You don't want to peel them, okay? That would ruin it. Let's give that a little shake around, okay? Leave them unpeeled, all right? There we go. Now, there's going to be a lot of moisture come out of these mushrooms as they cook. I'm going to drop it back down, actually. It's on six. There'll be a lot of moisture come out of this, which we want to uh, evaporate to a degree. So you never do a massive batch, okay? When cooking mushrooms, go for a small batch so that they dry and aren't really sort of soggy because then you're just going to ruin your toast. The toast has been buttered and is waiting. And keep an eye on them. See, those ones are already browning off nicely and going limp and soggy. Okay, well, those ones are barely touched. Keep shaking, keep playing with it, keep turning. Right, it's all cooked down now. Parsley in, lemon. Half a lemon there, squeeze it all over. Gonna give it a little toss and a stir and a shake, rattle, and roll. Right, we're ready to serve up now. Straight onto the toast. Look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous bit of grub that is.